is a very real risk of drowning while surfing. But at least you'll leave behind a cool-looking skeleton. Along Blanchard County's 78-mile coastline, there are 35 miles of sandy beach, only six of which aren't owned by resorts, individuals, or homeowners associations. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. Local resorts have responded to sea level rise by importing 285,000 tons of sand and count. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, enraged Port Clovians threw it in the ocean.
Benjamin Franklin marveled at how quickly the Gulf Stream allowed him to travel back to America after his many Parisian whoring expeditions. Even the self-driving technology of Gazorpazor is not without its reliability concerns. As is the trend in other coastal towns, long stretches of Port Clovis's shoreline are now the exclusive domain of the world. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. The ocean is a source of life, inspiration, and eternal renewal, but mostly it exists to be exploited and commodified by humans. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Five hundred million years of terrestrial evolution reaches its apex with Prosperity Sand's spacious flow-through floor. Unaware, the noose around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark hunters. Major complaints about a shark near Cabana Breeze? Shark situation, let's move! Days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can thank OP for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't. Up. 
Another shark hunt draws to a close. of balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process. What harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? Once those gills get dry, it's time for the shark to return to the water. Hunters are on the water, bringing their explosives and poor impulse control with them.
the hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. The shark is now a mega shark, often referred to by scientists as the 64-ounce gas station soda of large marine predators. <laughs> 